teaching vowels using the app Speech Articulation Trainer version 4, 4.0.0. We have here front unrounded vowels from high to low. E, 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 A. We have the back vowels which are rounded. U, O, O. And one unrounded low back vowel. O. And we have rounded front vowels. U, U, O. So we get this using the main menu sound. Now we go to the main menu values, perhaps starting, ah. starting from the R. So this gives insight how an articulatory model is developed or how um, articulation is organized for vowels. So first of all, we have this parameter low to high, vocalic tongue low to high, low, high. If we have it adjusted to high, we can show how it works in the dimensions from back to front. And the third parameter for vowels is lips spread to fully rounded. Three further parameters. There are languages with, with um, nasalized vowels. This is absolutely non-nasalized. The velum is in a high position. And here the velum is in a low position. The phonation is important. This arrow marks phonation. If we change the glottal aperture parameter to a higher value, we get phonation in combination with frication, which is brassy voice. We get simply frication. And we get just a wide opening of the glottis for breathing. In, so breathing, frication, phonation, glottal stop. So adjusting it again for phonation. The last parameter which is important, we need a value, uh, a, a degree of subglottal pressure in order to allow phonation. Low subglottal pressure, no phonation. Normal subglottal pressure, phonation. Let's go back to the sound menu. Go to a vowel like E, e. and look in the movements coming from a schwa configuration towards a vowel. So we go to the sub menu move. E. And here we can see the articulatory parameters for the E. And it starts with a glottal stop then goes to normal phonation and we see that the pressure is built up during the glottal stop. So if we go through this time course here, we see this is a uh, yeah, respiration, schwa, and now we go, we prepare the vowel articulation, the vowel shape, for the E. And if that is done, the phonation starts. So the glottal stop is released. So these articulatory movements work for all vowels. Okay, that's it. The next video will be on consonants. Thank you.